tell you who would have enjoyed Chris's Min's decision, and that was our mates at the ABC. Check out some of their coverage of the coronation because, of course, they couldn't help themselves but give a platform to people who weren't so happy about the proceedings at all. And the crown is not above politics to us because the symbol of that crown represented the invasion, the theft of land, and in our case, the exterminating war, which next year will mark 200 years. As a result of the Crown establishing institutions here, Australia itself was founded, or at least New South Wales and the colonies, founded as penal colonies. So it's about time we absolutely start to imagine First Nations peoples at the front and centre of our nation, um, you know, abolishing prisons for one, because mm. those are also outdated. In the Thank you, Teela Reid. So because... King George III, over 200 years ago, sent some prisoners here, which ended up being the birth of modern Australia, kick-started us. Aboriginals today should now abolish prisons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that compelling and rich contribution. As for Stan Grant, this is to be expected. I don't know why he even agreed to do any of the coverage whatsoever after he made it very clear about how he felt about the ABC's coverage of the passing of Her Majesty. But there he was, there he was. He just had to, had to make it all about what is essentially the voice vote coming up and making sure that people who were watching were remembering that it wasn't all what we think it is to them. Here's a great quote by Neil Mitchell, who's a 3AW radio presenter. He writes, I don't blame the people on hair. He's saying specifically with regards to the ABC, it's whomever in management decides, ah, here's a good idea, let's use footage from London while we bag the living daylights out of the monarchy. Someone in the ABC needs to be accountable for this. As the national broadcaster, it should have been the place you go to to see the coverage. Instead, all you see is this bitterness about our Indigenous history. Well said, I think, Kel. It is well said, but it's also that the ABC has lost its sense of direction. Now, I used to work for the ABC. I'm better now. <laughs> um, I've got over that. But, but I went to work there a long... Now, admittedly, a long, long time ago, back in the Dark Ages, and we used to have an induction thing. And in the induction course, they, the, one of the things we were said, and it was really stressed, was ABC staff do not express opinions. Now, uh, th that was the policy of the ABC. As little as 15 years ago, there was an American radio consultant named Valerie Geller who was brought out to uh, consult with ABC Metro radio stations, and I was working there at the time, uh, and she was telling these people on metro stations, Sydney and Melbourne and so on, how to, she said, you've got to be more opinionated. There was horror. They said, we're not allowed to do that. That was only 15 years ago. This is a direction... That, there are people watching now who are saying, yes, 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 Kel, I can remember when the ABC actually worked like an impartial institution and covered things properly. Mm. There, when I compared AM, which is a while ago, we counted the seconds, the number of seconds during a, a political campaign each party got. Right. So if you were doing that, if you started counting seconds on Saturday night, uh, where were the seconds given to the monarchists? I mean, mm. uh, Julie and Lisa got a, a few minutes squeezed in between uh, people expressing yes. opinions which they were not supposed to express on the ABC. There was no attempt at being what the ABC used to be, what it was set up to be. So this is, this is an ABC which has lost its way and has either got to have its funding cut off or be dragged back to what it once was, what it once was, was good. Can I ask you a question on this? Because, you know, every other week we rile against the ABC's bias and nothing ever changes. But what about coalition governments who've had plenty of opportunity to address the ABC, whether it's through funding cuts or whatever, and they never seem to, to grasp the opportunity? The problem is threefold. It is activist staff members, activist journalists. Uh, it is incompetent management. There's been very poor quality of management at the ABC, and it is spineless politicians. Right. You put those three together, you get the ABC we've got. If we had some politicians with spine and the appointment of really good... There have been one or two good managers along the way who are often hounded by staff. Mm. So, but, but you can do it. If you make up the decision, I'm backing this, we can do this, it can be done.